from the hollers and hills of West Virginia, it's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Looking pretty big, doing pretty well here. Looking pretty good. That one right there is getting pretty tall. So, grow, baby, grow, baby, grow, baby, grow. All I know. Just keep on going. She's trying to put a head off. I'm hoping, hoping she'll quit and not, not do it and just keep growing. If I can get her to the top of that, that'll be pretty good if I can get her to the top. I don't believe we'll get 15 foot out of them this year. I'm going to have to buy some giant seeds from somebody else, somewhere else, to shoot for it. So I don't believe I'm going to get there, but now that is a tall sunflower, though. All these are tall sunflowers. There's not many people growing sunflowers that tall, y'all. I can tell you that right now. So, most people grow them six, seven foot, and they think, man, that's a tall sunflower. They're not growing monsters like this. So, still did pretty good considering, but not, not what I was looking for. So, uh, again, they wasn't the, they wasn't the genetic seeds for that, you know. Um, could have probably stretched them and got what I wanted out of it had I known a few different things. But uh, like I say, she's trying to form a head. So I think probably next week she'll be done. So she's trying to form that head. If I can get her to grow to the top of that, um, we might might be able to have something. So we're going to be watering her. We're going to keep trying. We're going to try. You know, because even if I grow a personal best, then you know records can wait okay it's all about growing and learning so if i can just grow a uh however long it gets you know right now it's taller than anything i've ever grown in fact all of these are taller than i've ever grown so um i fed them right i, I watered them right and i've grew some pretty tall ones in there so we'll measure them out we'll see how big they are so Anyhow, we got the snail vines running good, looking good. Lots of pretty flowers. Check this flower out right here. That not gorgeous or what? Huh? That's beautiful. Got that one up there. You know that one that looked like a real teddy bear? You know, it was all fluffy like. It's the only one that we've had so far like it. None of the rest have done that, so I don't know if that one will or not, but I don't think it will, so. Just keep an eye out and see. See what to do. But there's a mix in here that shouldn't be in here. Like that one right there. That's that one big one that, I, that we've been watching all year. Right there. Yep. This one here. It's several different ones. Very odd. Odd. Odd ones in here. So, um, 
when they make, we'll cut them all out and uh, we'll uh, start planting our corn in here, get our corn growing, finish out our year. Um, one thing I do know uh, is Man, that, pan, that thing is cantaloping. You see how much that thing's cantaloping? Yeah, it's cantaloping, getting rough. I mean, I know she's not covered. You know what I mean? Look how much she's pulled them tap roots out of the ground. She's just a rough looking pumpkin, but she's pretty cool. I like her. I need to finagle her a little bit and stuff and get, probably need to set something underneath her. A couple little things underneath her anyhow. She's pulling the vine up herself. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, she's gonna, she's gonna pull her stem apart, I believe. So I probably need to get in here and relieve some stuff here on her. Yeah. She's gonna pull, separate that. And we'll go ahead and just do that right there. See how loose the ground is? Let's pull it up there, look. Look at them, look at them roots. Had two two tap roots on the top and two of them on the bottom. That's that's pretty cool. So, let's pull them up, give them a little bit of something there and then we'll put some black cow over it. Just don't wanna I'll give her a little, little, little help there. She needs all the help she can get. They might have rooted in good. Yeah, she's... I'll get out here and work on her. Hopefully. Maybe. I was going to pollinate one out here on the end. On her mane. Oh, man. Look at all them. That big one there. Y'all see that big one right there? Finally opened up. So they're looking, looking quite beautiful out here. Oh yeah, the lemon queens are wide open. Look at them. Oh yeah, them's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And the uh, chocolate cherries are opened up real good. All these here is opened up good. Oh yeah. Looking great. Yeah. This one here will be ready tomorrow. Or the next day. We'll pollinate it and grow it. Grow it right up in here somewhere. See what it'll do. Looking good, looking good. Now these do have seeds, I was mistaken. You see the seed? There's the seeds. So there is seeds in there. So we'll be keeping them and uh and uh, trying them out and if they grow and they do good then uh, i'll sell them okay if these will germinate and, and grow then i will sell 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 them so i surely will I'll take a look at all that only thing about a sunflower is they don't last long enough watch this they get so and they just start falling apart. They never last long enough. They're beautiful while they're here. It's hard to get them to all open up at the same time. But that's pretty. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. It's like a little pretty picture. In fact, I'm going to take a picture with that birdhouse in it again. Might get it framed or something. Okay, for everybody that don't know what powdery mildew is, I'm about to show you. On this plant up here by the sunflowers, we have got powdery mildew. It has arrived here at Heavenly Hills Homestead. There it is. And there it is. Now, do not mistake this for just any old thing, okay? You pay close attention. Because you'll see that. And sometimes we can be foliar spraying and it'll look similar, but it doesn't start doing that or that or that or that. What is that? Do you see what we got? Now, I'm not going to walk in there and look, 
right away, but do you see? Look at all those leaves. That's not from foliar spraying, folks. That's powdery mildew. Check it out. Powdery mildew there. Powdery mildew there. Let's walk around here. Let's take a look. See? Let's zoom in. That is powdery mildew. Okay? If you don't know what, what it looks like, now you know. All right? Look at all that powdery mildew. Now, you say, oh, goodness. You got the crud. You got the funk. You got the virus. What are you going to do? I'm not going to worry. I'm going to go get the stuff that's made to kill it out of my building. And I'm going to simply apply it. Look at that. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to pour a little bit at the root here and there on this plant. Anyhow, let's we'll pour a little bit in over here. Pour a little bit over in there by the stump and we're going to water it in. See, look how bad it gets. It was nothing there. I didn't, I didn't look at this plant yesterday evening, but there was nothing there yesterday morning. So that tells you how fast it can come up and go, okay? So we're gonna spray it, or not spray it, but we're gonna put it down, and then we're going to water it in, and then it'll uptake it, and it'll kill out all this nastiness on this plant. The plant will be back up 100% in just a couple days. So stay tuned for that video. Now, let's go take a look real quick at what else we're gonna do today. Got all them 169 pounds worth of potatoes, right? Got somewhere to put them. Well, the shelf's been needing fixed since last year. I just ain't got to it. So what are we going to do today? Well, we'll take that board, them boards out, and we're going to put us a drying rack on top of there. And uh, we may end up having to put two drying racks in here. But anyhow, we're going to show you how to make a drying rack for your potatoes or any ground vegetable that you need to dry out. So that's what we're doing. Let's go get to it. Take a look at these uh, pumpkins real quick. Uh, Jaden's little buddy, uh, my friend's little little boy, um, Easton, is up here. Man, let me tell you, I, before I get into that, my dad, I gave him one of these plants, and he has got a huge mega blossom growing on that thing. I hope it works out, because if it does, y'all, y'all's about to see a fantastic tomato. Mine... It just won't produce a mega, so I don't know what's I don't know what the problem is, but anyhow, he's got a mega bloom over. It's big, got a big old stem all on its own. See, I cut my maters off, and uh, his plant is doing exceptionally well, and it's in a pot, and he's moved it because <laughs> he moved. So uh, anyhow, yeah, it, it, it's crazy. So stay tuned for that because I'm very excited to see how good of a tomato that grows. I'm hoping it'll grow a real big one and, uh, and it'll do well. So, uh, but anyhow, my little boy, uh, his friend's over. My, my friend's little boy is over here. His name is Easton. So you're going to see him in the videos for the next couple of days. Uh, and, uh, and just enjoy because he's a pretty cool kid. He's funny. Uh, anyhow, um, we're going to be doing some cool stuff while he's here. Uh, we're going to, butcher a chicken today you'll get to see that as well that'll probably be two separate videos uh, but we're going to butcher a chicken today and we're going to cook it for dinner and they're, they're, he's going to learn the ways of living you know how life really is you know so uh we're going to be doing that and uh yeah it's gonna be fun so watch those videos as well anyhow this one is looking awesome i love the shape i love everything about this pumpkin Love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to get her up and big because I think she's going to be a brute. I have a feeling she's going to be a big one. Oh, the secondary splitting. That's sad. Oh, well. If she makes, she makes. If she don't, I don't need her. I got plenty of vine pushing this fruit, so Ain't nothing to me. Nothing to me. So, uh, these plants have all been treated for the crud so that they don't get it. And, uh, I'm pretty good so far. Let's see what we got going on here. Ha! Ah, man. 
Um, hmm. Well, she's trying to heal up. I'm not sure about this punker, guys. I mean, she, one day she looks like she ain't doing jack, and the next day I come out here and she's blowed up. I mean, she's literally blew up back here on this. I can tell that her shoulders have increased a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. I don't know. Uh, hey, buddy. Yeah. I didn't do that one. My uncle did. Yeah. <laughs> no. That was my uncle's. He's no longer with us. So. <laughs> All right, man. That was Easter. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, so one minute she looks good. Next minute, she don't. I don't know. We'll have to uh, sort this one out, cover up, and we'll go on to the next. Uh, that was no longer a candidate. Well, now that we've made it over here, I guess you guys can see what she looks like. Let me get over here and trim all these vines up. What she looks like from the from the front. Real big old blossom in. She ain't filling this in. She got real big up here at the top and then real little down here at the bottom. She needs to fill that in. If she could fill it in, she'd look a lot better. She'd be a lot better of a pumpkin. But now the other one, she's done just, wow, that one there's got a big old dip in it. So, anyways, the, uh, what we got going on here? This other one up here, it looks pretty, pretty good. Whoa. See, that one there looks good. Mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. This one right here. Yeah, we got that. That right, looks good. She's she's probably 200 pounds, I'd say. Close to it. Uh oh. Rip your secondary off. And pull it off there. Set on it and ripped it off. Oh well. Who will? Let's see here. Let me see if I can finagle this pumpkin some to where I can. Hmm. I don't know. I may not be able to. Let's see. Yeah, it should be alright. Just like that. Just let her grow on top of her roots and stuff. Should be fine. It'll be just fine like that. From here though, I may need to come out here and put something underneath her and try to actually shoot for growing her because she's got a nice, very nice stem, beautiful shape. Very, 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 very nice and round, very nice. I may need to put something under her and actually focus on growing her. 
Let's see, babe. We're looking for bushel gourds growing, right? That one is. That one took. Yep. All right. Big difference between that one right there. Look at that. I can tell. Look how much bigger that is than that other one. Yep, that one. That one pollinated. All right, so hand pollinating is the best way to do it, I guess. See, look here. There's the ones I've hand pollinated. And, uh, and look here, look at this. This one right here was several weeks old compared to several days old. Days old, guys. Remember when I pollinated that? Like uh, Saturday, okay? I think it was Saturday when I pollinated that. Weeks old, days old. Okay, look here, we're here. I'm gonna drop you. Weeks old, days old. So, yep, hand pollinating is probably the best for these. So, let's see here, real quick. I thought I had another one here somewhere. I have to keep an eye on this. I have to get a board over here, get it ready to grow. Grow, baby, grow. <laughs> All right, thank goodness, man. I was beginning to think I wasn't gonna get to grow a bushel gourd this year and I was gonna be a little perturbed there, there, look at that. There's the other one I pollinated. Hand pollinated those. Okay, guys. There's that one right there. And there's that one right there. And then there's that one right there. So there's three of them there. What I'll do is I'll put a board underneath them. Whichever one ends up being the best this time next week. So next Wednesday. Reminder to myself, next Wednesday... You need to cull two of them and go with one. A lot of plant pushing it. We're thankful. God is good. Gave us a good bushel gourd to grow. Pollination took. Hand pollinated those. I hand pollinated those and they took. I didn't rely on the moth to do it. Um, I guess you could rely on the moth to do it. That's how they're all done, you know. But I believe hand pollinating these is the trick because none of them that, that were pollinating were doing any good. You've seen this one. We've been watching it grow, for, <laughs> not grow <laughs> for two or three weeks. It just, nothing, okay? These, the stem has gotten a lot bigger. Look how big the stem is on that one. A lot bigger of a stem. See, this, what a stem looks like normally. That's what that stem looked like on that one. Look, when you get good pollination, you get a big old stem really quick. Big old stem, really quick. Look at that. Stem starts to grow good. This starts to grow good. Yeah, so good to go. All right, on to the next. Okily dokily, here we are. 1378 new plant. Looking good, looking good, looking good. All right, I'm going to send Andy to the dollar store in just a moment to pick me up some sheets. I'm tired of not being able to cover her up properly. She needs more cover. There she is. I'm getting a measurement on all these um, this evening, hopefully, depending on how everything goes today. So let's get in here and cover up our biggin and cover up the light. I just, I am in awe of this pumpkin, guys. I mean, she just, I don't think y'all can tell, but she's a big girl. I mean, she's a big, beautiful girl. Oh, let me lean over here. Goodness, I can't even stand on my feet anymore to lean over her. Stem looks good. 
She's a short, nubby little stem, but she's looking good. Doing good. Yeah. Grow, baby, grow. Grow, baby, grow. You got to talk to your pumpkins, guys. Love on them. Rub on them. Massage them. Whatever you got to do. She's cantaloping up here. That's good. Growing good. Growing good. Growing good. She's doing wonderful. I'm, I'm impressed with her. I am super impressed with this pumpkin. And I'm hoping that by crossing her with the new plant, that next year this plant will be even more phenomenal. Okay. Y'all see this? I mean, look, there's not much plant to her. I mean, there's a lot of plant here, but look, I mean, a lot of it's old and died. It's laid down. And she's still pumping out the pounds. Still pumping out the pounds. She's doing wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm so impressed with this pumpkin. And like I say, I'm hoping that crossing her with this uh, genetics off of this plant right here, which is the 1378 new, will only increase her in her growth and in size and plant stability and, 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 and growth and how long the plant will endure. As you can see, this plant is doing rather well where its old parts are. So I'm hoping that by crossing that in, then this one will take that genetic trait and be a good plant grower. So anyhow, let's go on to the next one. Gotta get some more sand. I told Annie yesterday we gotta get more sand. She's she's a blob. She looks blobby-ish. So we're gonna get over and take a look at her in just a second. Right here. This is why I like this plant. Did y'all look at how beautiful those lobes are? Now I'm getting ready to pull this off. This is that 1378 new plant. Awesome looking lobes, man. Just beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Five lober. Beautiful. Okay, it was a little side vine. So, looking good. All right, on to the next thing. Here we go. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. <laughs> and that how that goes? A little, little kid song thing that they sing. I don't know. Anyhow, looking good. Looking good. Get off of her. Boss man looks good. Big, 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 heavy, 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 heavy pumpkin. Looks great, looks great. Oh yeah. All right, well, we just gotta get, to, she's blobbish. She's kind of blobby, you know, she's not really round like that one there. She's kind of uh, blobbish and yeah, you see her from the side, but she's still pretty. I still like her, she's a good looking pumpkin. Let's put this on, good night. I'm telling you the truth. <sighs> All right, let's put this on. Get on a little with the next. Long gourd investigating here. And we have found a double. As you see there, it's got two stems. Goes into the two of them right there that goes into one. It's used together. Look at that thing. Isn't that awesome? I'm wondering if that wouldn't be better for growing, seeing how it's got two, which is a bigger stem, and uh, a lot bigger than it normally would have feeding it. So we're, we're probably gonna pick this one out for the uh, for the one to grow on here. So I'm gonna let it go just like that right there. Not gonna fool with it too much. Yeah, it's got a bad little kink in it. But anyhow, check, uh, check this one out right here. You can see I got a, it's, it's scraping on the fence some, so we're gonna have to fix that. See how it's scraping? Got the black, black stuff going on there from scraping on the fence. So we gotta fix it. But here's the top. It goes all the way down to right there. Good grief. Right there, that's pretty long. It's over three foot now. So she may end up, 
It's hard to tell who's going to have the record. I might end up setting several records this year with these long gourds. Who knows, right? So anyhow, we're, uh, we're going to let that one grow, and that one over there is doing really good. Now let's see about this Mac Daddy here. I think we're going to have to get in there and tie her up again there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's... She's uh, putting on the weight and putting on the length. So, doing pretty well thus far. Keep an eye on her there. That's no, hard to see. I'll have to get over in there and let y'all look. See, I gotta, gotta fix this. She's gonna end up separating that and I don't want that, see? There's some slack in the vine, but this here is getting taut. Oh yeah, it's... It's very tight. We're going to have to fix this. Got to fix that. She's getting too tight. All right. All right. We'll come out here with Annie, and I'll have to have her help me fix that. So, all right. Let's. All right, guys. Up. What are y'all going to do? Catch the chickens. And what are we going to do with them? Fry them up and eat them. Okay. Fry them up and eat them. Y'all's going. Y'all's going to kill the chickens. All right. So them two white ones. What we're going to do, put y'all on time lapse, catch them, put them in the cage, lock them up, and uh, then uh, this evening we'll get to it, or this afternoon. All right. Okay, guys, so uh, we have some provigenics, um, cow mag, okay? Uh, we went to this kind uh, because it's it's a higher concentrate. It's uh, at four, okay? So as you can see there, it's four on the nitrogen. Everything's higher on this whole whole thing, everything. Um, seemed, seemed like it did pretty good or does pretty good. So uh, it's got a measuring thing here, so I like that. That way I know exactly what I'm giving them. And if I want to double it or triple it, I know I'm doubling or tripling it right there. Um, really going to start pumping cow mag to these plants uh, pretty pretty frequently. Um, but, you know, you, you see here, apply 10 milliliter or one fluid ounce per gallon of water. Spray fine mist on plant for best results. Apply once every two weeks. So on the pumpkin plants, these will probably be getting it every week uh, to once a week to maybe even every three days. All right, but uh, yeah, it's supposed to be some really good stuff. Privagenics, okay, go check that out on the cow mag. Um, like I say, it, the other was a two on the nitrogen scale or whatever. You know, right here we got four zero zero. That's your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. You know, it was a two right there, and uh, this is this is a four. So, and if you read all across it right here, your nitrogen, your calcium, and your magnesium all is four. Four percent nitrogen, four percent calcium, four percent magnesium. Okay. Uh, so, uh, anyhow, the other one, like I said, it was 2%. So, we got two more percent on this, like a higher concentrate. All right, next thing is we got the, our sugar snap peas in. Uh, there's 300 seeds here, and uh, we're going to be sowing these. Uh, I'm hoping today we can sow them in today. Uh, if not today, we might get them tomorrow sowed in. But anyhow, we're going to have some sugar snap peas. Now, the other peas, they were also good that I grew, but they, they and they were a snow pea variety but they wasn't sugar snaps, okay? These are sugar snaps, they're delicious. Uh, you know, you eat them right off the vine, okay? They're really, 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 really sweet. So <clears throat> we're gonna be planting these and uh, and then we'll plant the other beans as it continues to get cooler into the fall time. All right, so just wanted to show you this stuff and uh, we got some other things coming this week. Uh, so wait for that and I'll show you all that stuff from my from a feeding program of what I feed everything here, okay? A lot of guys, they don't want to take the time out to show you what they're feeding, and maybe it's strategic, maybe it's lack of time, you know, because they stay pretty busy, a lot of them do. Uh, I don't know, okay? But here, I want to show y'all what I feed, how I feed, and the amounts that I feed, all right? So I try to keep up with that, and then if you got any questions, concerns, you can always let me know, okay? All right, so let's go get this done. No, not right now. We have to wash it. All right, guys, so what we're going to do, 
We're gonna go in our cellar. Turn the light on, we're gonna rip this shelf in here out. We're gonna have Elmo do it. Oh, Elmer. Elmer's gonna do it. And then we're gonna come in here, and after we rip it out, we'll lay some rabbit wire down so we can put up our potatoes. Yes, sir? Potatoes. Yeah. The only other thing we gotta try to figure out is how to keep the mice, if there's any in here, away. Now, I don't have a problem with mice in here. I've only had one mouse that I've killed in this, yes, the entire time I've lived here. So, since 2018. Give me a minute. You're being rude. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get Elmer over here. Elmer's gonna come in here, clean this place out, rip this shelving out, and put us up some rabbit wire. T. Wayne's got the day off, but he's just around the corner there goofing off with some pumpkins. So you might see T. Wayne. I don't know though, but definitely you're gonna see Elmer. And this old stuff here looks like wormy chestnut to me. I believe it is. Lots of holes in it. Looks like wormy chestnut to me. So let's get to it. Is that kind of like a house? It's our cellar. Ryan's got me working hard. Ten lost trees. I'm back there fed up with it. It's hot here. Little girl, I said it's hot. It's hot in here to Elmer. Elmer thinks it's hot in here. Huh. I don't know who you think you are. <laughs> Ain't nothing funny, Annie. I'm gonna tell Ryan on you. you think it's funny, make it fun of. He's got me out here slaving. Y'all out here in this cellar, it's hot in this cellar. This cellar's supposed to be cold. It's hot. That's not hot. Well, girl, I said it's hot. No. Don't eat that. No. It's not good no more. Daddy's gonna have to plant some more of them. Yeah. Huh, well, I guess it's ready for, for rabbit wire now, so he puts potatoes up. Huh, tag, 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 you. It's, it's bull crap. Little girl, don't look at me like that. Not okay. Okay. Huh. It's okay. Let me go get this rabbit wire. guys so there's the potato rack built and loaded we ain't got it all the way but it's it's uh pretty close to full <laughs> check these taters out these ain't even the biggest ones look at that thing that is a big old tater look at this i mean just huge potatoes guys big old look at that big old tater but i want y'all to see the funny one this is the best and funniest looking tater I've ever seen. I bet that is the butt of the joke. I bet he's the butt of a lot of jokes. What do y'all think? Y'all think that one is? 
Y'all think he's the butt of a lot of jokes? I guarantee he is. Guarantee it's the butt of some jokes. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's get a measurement on this big pumpkin. Get us a uh, weight today. There's that. All right, hang on a minute. I'll set you there. Well, she's not touching. Let me show you. She no longer touches, see? Pulled tight, pulled tight, no longer touching. So we're gonna have to figure out how much this is. All right, put you back down, 22 inches. 122, 122 inches round is the circumference. So let's get the side to side and the front to back now. All right, 81 and a half side to side. 81 and a half is side to side. Do it this way now. 75 and a half, 75 and a half. All right, I'm gonna get that measurement plugged in and get you a picture of the weight. All right, making our way in here to old big girl. Man, she's a big girl. Big girl, all right. Let's get her looked at here. Seven inch gap. So let's see here. It's 127 inches in. 127 inches. Circumference, 127 inches circumference around here. So, all right, now let's do side to side and front and back. 85, or excuse me, 85, 85, 85. Inches side to side and front to back. 82. 82. All right, let's get those numbers plugged in. 82. All right. All right, here we go. The next one. Let's get her measured up here. Circumference. 102. 102 on the circumference. 70. 70 on the top to bottom. All right. Let's get your weight. Okay, guys, didn't want to bore you with taping this one out, but we taped it. About a 30-pound gain in a few days, so however long it's been since the last one, which was like three or three days ago, four days ago, something like that. So, not really doing much. It's a... Uh, Pitiful, quite pitiful. The hump is how I can tell it's still growing. The hump gets bigger every day. Right there, that odd shaped hump that she has. It keeps getting bigger. That's the only way I can tell she's actually growing. So, other than that, uh, no, no real obvious signs. Um, I don't know, but you got plenty of plant to push the other one. We'll leave this one on. And I've uh, been told by several growers, just leave her on. If she's sucking pop five pounds a day, it ain't really gonna affect much. You know, even if, you know, so just let that one up there grow. A lot of energy's going up there to that one. That one I can tell is growing every day, so we'll just leave it be. It should start kicking off uh, probably around Monday. That thing should start getting leaps and bounds bigger every night, you know, 30s, 40s, you know, pounds a day. That would be great. So I'm just gonna keep hammering it with water and uh and see what it'll do so anyhow guys um that's all we got for today 
Uh, me and Annie's gonna go over here and we're gonna fix that long board up. But uh, we appreciate you watching. And we'll see you tomorrow right here in the hollers and hills of West Virginia. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to share. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. And subscribe.